What's up, Internet? This is the A4th Wolf, and welcome to another episode of Wolf Watches. Today, I'll be bringing you episode 9 of season 2 of Camp Camp. Uh, this one is called Eggs Benefits. Uh, yeah, Eggs Benefits. Um, don't know what to expect. Uh, maybe it's a... Uh, Maybe it's like an Easter thing that they're doing really early or something along that line. Uh, but I don't know. But uh, all it shows, uh, I, I have it all queued up right here. And it looks like uh, Max and the rest of the gang are just relaxing. So uh, I have a feeling that David's going to come by and ruin everything. So uh, let's stop talking about it. Get right into the episode. Ah, I love Saturdays. No scheduled activities, no annoying campers, and best of all, no David or Gwen telling us what to do. Yeah, I hate it when they do that. If I hear them say, Nikki, get down from there, or Nikki, don't eat that bug, or Nikki, that's an endangered species, one more time. <sighs> it's just nice to How have a break from all the weird hijinks and wacky adventures. I almost don't mind being outside. <sighs> oh. Almost. Oh, sure, you get to eat all the bugs you want. Hmm, that's queer. Don't say that, Neil. Where did this egg come from? A uh, chicken? Or does the egg come first? Who cares? It's just an egg. <laughs> Look, there's another. And another. It's an egg trail. Guys, don't mess with it. It's probably something that will trigger a series of events that will, on the whole, be an interesting and comedic adventure, but ultimately waste our Saturday. Yeah, it right, totally Nikki. will. Let's leave it alone. God uh, damn it. <laughs> oh, She's man. gone. I hope it's a dinosaur. <gasps> platypus! Oh, the platypus is gonna be a mama! It's the miracle of life! Uh, life is disgusting. Did well, not think they would show the that. I guess their Saturday is safe after all. Right on time! Uh -oh. I see our cash machine, I mean, lovable pet, has produced some eggs. Ooh! What are we gonna do with them? Watch them hatch? Cook breakfast? No, no, not at all. You're all going to... Don't tell us we're taking care of the eggs until they hatch. Take care of the eggs, eggs until, until they hatch. hatch. Well, shit. Why'd I open my big mouth? <laughs> Quack. Quack. Oh, hang on. Have ventures every day. I know it sounds hard to believe, but guys and gals, it's true. Camp Campbell is the place for me and you. Go we'll swim through lakes and climb up trees, catch fish, those guys, and head to die. That guy, I always trip on that. Our knobs can't can be them in that means I'm telling you. We've got archery, hiking, search and back to horseback training, with the my heart attack, but whenever I yeah, damn it. I'm gonna keep practicing. I'll get it eventually. All right, bonus activity day. I hope you kids are as excited as I am to be working on a Saturday. Whoa, Davy! <laughs> I wouldn't go around calling this work. We don't need any child labor allegations thrown our way again. And this doesn't count as overtime either. Why are you making us do this? Well, Mitchell, you see, these Mitchell. eggs are much too valuable to let some dumb animal take care of. I would probably lose it or eat it. Quack. That's not how us. <laughs> the USDA is really cracking down on biosecurity. So if any government official asks, this is an innocent camp activity with these eggs we just happened to find. We did just what? happen to find them. Exactly. Mr. Campbell, what's so special about these eggs anyway? Well, between you and me, there is a bit of unrest back in Thailand. Some baseless accusation of me embezzling all their money. <laughs> you know. What? Did you embezzle all their money? Ah, uh, uh, anyway, the Russians what? are offering to help out. But you never want to owe a debt to those guys. So I'm trying to take care of the whole thing myself by selling off these bad boys. Golly, are platypus babies really that valuable? No. You better be. All right, camperinos. <laughs> we're going to pair you up so you'll each get to take care of an egg until it hatches. Hmm. Is it too late to change who we're paired with? You know it. Now, since we only have six eggs, we'll need you kids to be very careful with them. Oh, that one hurts. <laughs> to reiterate, be very careful. You kids can have fun playing pretend. See? One dad and one 
Uh, what are you? Though technically human female, I prefer to identify as Elfkin. God, I hate this generation. Ugh, this is yeah. stupid. I don't want to take care of some dumb egg. My sweet boy. Aww. All right then, kids. Don't screw this up. Well, this will be easy. Let's just leave it in a box and get back to enjoying our Saturday. What? We can't do that, Max. This is our egg. We have to take care of it and let it know we'll always be here no matter what. Huh? Yeah, I don't know what's going on in my lower parts, but it's making me want to nurture that. Egg. <laughs> <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> well, that's one way to talk about it. <laughs> Look, ideal. I just want to hold it for a second. Space kid, no. We were given this huge responsibility, and I'm not going to let you screw it all up. But I want to show it the sky and the stars and the moon. Our egg can't experience the wonders of space from under here. The egg can look at pictures of the damn moon for all I care. Or maybe not. Pictures have sharp corners, and they could pierce his delicate outer shell. I'll protect you. Whoa, Boy, Max, okay. I don't know Something. how to nurture the head Jesus. out of this egg. They're going you all out. Or do I need to feed it too? We could just send it to a summer camp and have strangers take care of it for three months. Don't be <laughs> silly, Max. That's an awful idea. Cool. Our this <laughs> egg is going to be the coolest artist slash pro skater who ever lived. Oh, we could be the cool parents like Arid and Dolph. If our egg hangs out with theirs, it can be popular. I don't think I need to remind you that these are eggs and not, in fact, actual children, but I'm going to anyway. Dolph, I am loving the style of your egg. It is so fierce. Danke, Preston. Hey, Preston, how about you give some praise to Nerf Jr. over here before you give him an inferiority complex? I will not have our boy caught up in a cycle of <sighs> and negative emotions, damn it. Nerf Jr., who decided on that? That is not praise, Preston. <sighs> not in front of the child. We will talk about this later. All right, little shredder, time for oh, the first boy. backside heel flip. What are you doing? Your egg is not wearing the proper safety equipment for that. It needs a helmet. Oh, come pads, on. Elbow pads, pad pads. Don't sweat it, nerd kid. Little shredder is a free spirit. Yeah, we will not constrain our egg to the shackles of an overprotective society. We're the cool parents. And dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what were we expecting? Bye -bye. Strange. I suddenly feel less rich. Drink up now so you can grow up to be big and strong. <sighs> I don't get it, Max. If playing People just went nuts. Boots, like the cool kids isn't the right way to raise our egg, then what is? Nikki, you just spilled milk all over and now you're patting an egg. The only thing you're raising is questions. You're out. <laughs> I think it's ready for solids. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the first time ever. The amazing Omelette. Isn't Omelette. This guy nice. I work hard every day, and the one afternoon I have off, you drag me to some stupid magic show. Mark, what do you mean? We're just campers. Oh, so now you're disrespecting me? No, I would never. I cannot believe you right now. You know how I get when I'm angry. Just divorce. I remember. <laughs> oh, Neris, I thought you were reapplying the glue to your stupid fake ears. Is this what you do with our egg when I'm not around? We agreed that Egoist the Ivory Mage was going to focus on his incantations. Yes, I know, but I only said that so you'd leave. Amalek <laughs> wants to be a magician when he grows up. Just look at how much fun he's having. Egoist can't waste time doing dumb magic tricks if he's going to grow up to be a successful dungeon master like me. <gasps> how dare you? Only tricks are not dumb. Look, he can already do this. <gasps> Max! And gone can't forever. Do tricks like disappear? I beg to differ. No, I know it's <laughs> behind already. We should push it towards a good career, like a garbage man or, or a luchador. Harrison, bring Egoist back right this instant. He oh, can't. But Maris, you dumb fool. He's been here the whole time and is perfectly Okay, don't be mad. <laughs> oh, the blood! Yeah, Make sure the guy looks like me. I mean, they gotta think it's me. Oh. My mouth tastes weird. Look at those <laughs> awful parents out there. It's no wonder this world is in such a state. Hey, Neil. Can we go play with everybody else? It's lonely over here. You don't want to be near those people, space kid. They're they just murdered dangerous. three of their kids. Over here, everyone is safe and happy. Or two of their kids. You Can murdered I at least one. Hold the egg now. I already put your pen inside this pen. 
Relationships are built on compromise. Hey, Neil. Boy, this whole egg thing sure is stupid, huh? Whoa, okay. I think that's close enough, Max. Really? You too? Why do you care so much about this? I don't know. I just... I see a lot of myself in this egg. It's so small and fragile. I must protect it at all costs. Max! There you are. It's your turn to change the egg's diaper. We should not have started feeding it solids. As you can see, I'm the only one who hasn't lost their mind over this. Oh, we're just trying to be the best parents we can be, Max. Everything's perfectly fine. Yes, <gasps> everything is perfectly fine. Isn't oh my it? god. Jesus, Preston. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, nothing. Just tripped and fell into a doorknob a few times. It was my fault, really. <laughs> anyway, oh I was my wondering god. if you had a cup of sugar I could borrow, please. Preston? <laughs> yes, Nerf. What is it? Oh, there you are. What are you doing over here? Domestic I abuse. Are you asking for help? I to help making that cake you mentioned you like for dessert. I just need some sugar and then a few eggs and a... <gasps> How could you even mention using eggs in front of Nerf Jr.? You know what? I am trying to set a good example for our egg, Preston, and I need you to work with me on this. I will not have him grow up in a broken household like his father. So if I hear any more talk of I'm leaving you or Ew, you're scaring me or anything like that, I'm going to really lose it. Nerf, I, this no, is a very serious it. subject matter. <laughs> later after I eat that cake. In the meantime, I'm going to take Nerf Jr. away so he isn't exposed to any more domestic issues. What? It's a note. What? Wow. Uh-oh. Dear parents. I could not take being raised in such conditions any longer and decided to run away to a better life. I hope you two can work things out. If not for me, then for each other. Love, Nerf Jr. He ran away? He ran away? <laughs> oh, God. I'm a horrible parent. Yes, you, really you are. are Nerf. <laughs> no, sir. That was definitely me you spoke with today. Yes, I do insist on having a convertible for the parade. Swiss bank account! Oh, what are those darn kids doing? Oh, that boy. That beautiful boy. All right. Boy. You see, Max? That was interesting. That's why we have to figure out the best way to raise our egg. And we better do it fast, because at this rate, our egg is going to be the only one left. We'll see about that. <laughs> Go away. Jesus, chill out, Neil. It's not like you can hover over this thing for its entire incubation period. The hell I can't. I'm in this for the long haul, baby. You think my job's done after this thing hatches? He's gonna be homeschooled. He's gonna wear a baby leash. A baby leash, Max! Because infant creatures are only good at one thing, and that's finding the fastest way to kill themselves the moment you let them out of your sight. Can I hold the egg now, Neil? No! None of you can! Because none of you know what's best for this egg like I do. I will keep it close You're, forever. You're, yeah, you lost it, man. And dead. Well, I'm sure this is some kind of poignant metaphor. Kids, what the heck are you doing out here? My blood pressure is through the roof. I have no idea what I'm doing. That's the problem. What? Yeah, there's only one egg left. What? It's all terrible. I don't know what's right. I don't know what's wrong. I just know that I'm scared and I don't know what to do. Nikki, <laughs> calm down. It's like I told you, none of this matters. Nobody knows what they're doing when they're taking care of something too dumb to take care of itself. There is no right way of doing any of this. How do you think we turned out so fucked up? Oh, God, now it's breaking! No, oh, it's hatching! Aww. Finally. Phew. Well, thanks to you, kids, the Prime Minister of Thailand lives to see another day. Wow, Nikki. What? Thanks for getting us through this. You know, sometimes life is beautiful. No, it's not. Well, kids, that's why you always have a plan B. Take out the body double. None of you saw me here. <laughs> Don't speed on you, campers! Okay. Fucking waste of a Saturday. And there it goes. <laughs> when she was just a psycho, I was wow. All right. Well, uh, they're continuing the tradition of random uh, uh, lessons learned at the end. And yeah, it pretty much, you know, just everyone's different. Everyone has a different style of raising kids, whether it's uh, more authoritarian or, you know, let kids be kids, uh, let them figure it out for itself or try to teach them everything. Uh, are you going to be more protective or less protective of them? Are you going to let them discover things for themselves? Or are you going to hide them from the world? 
and it kind of just shows the extremes from every angle and uh, just a lot I mean the whole domestic abuse thing it was it was funny but it was also very uncomfortable <laughs> because that is a real thing <laughs> but uh, overall I think uh, I think they did a good job in the whole message at the end basically saying yeah I mean no, why do you think our family why we don't like our parents uh, when they do certain things it's because they were raised a certain way and they think that you know they want to be different they want to give us better stuff or you know something along that way but overall very good episode so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed please uh, like comment subscribe and uh, until the next episode this is the 8th Wolf and I'll see you guys next time.